Right, what is going on guys? In this video I'll be doing a review on the Bose IE2 in-ear headphones. Now I have done a review on these before but it was quite a long time ago and I think I should do a new one because I've used them for a long time. I've got some really good thoughts on them. So first of all, the price. These were priced when I got them around 100, 120 pounds. They were pretty new when I got them. And overall, I am really pleased with these headphones. Definitely worth the price. Now the box they come in is rather small, but even in the packaging, you can see the quality coming through. Really good design of the box. And not that it really matters to be honest, but it is great when you get a new product to have a really fantastic, memorable box with it. Now inside, they were displayed nicely, well packaged, and they also had a one year warranty. And that was standard, but it was still nice, reassuring to know that if they went wrong internally, then I could get some new ones. So here they are. I think these headphones are best suited for probably on the go music. I'm not thinking you'd use these for studio work um, or monitoring, but I think for really compact in-ear headphones for working on the go, is th these are really good for that kind of thing. Starting off on the cable, it's a, I think it's a one meter cable, I reckon. And that is a perfect size for me because you don't need to, you don't have this long tangle at all. Um, it's actually shorter than most in-ear headphone cables, but if you plug them in and you put them under your shirt, into your pocket, there isn't much cable left, which is a really good thing, again, for people who travel a lot. There is a break in the cable here where you can, um, it, it's got a little slider so you can split it where you want, but it's very, a lot of thought put into the design of length of wire and stuff like that. And even the wire itself, it's actually a two-tone, very thick and strong material. It's black and white and it tends to twist a lot, so you don't really get much of a two-tone, it's more of like a, a twisted all the way but it, it really appeals to me actually. Now on the tips of the headphones, you get like a silicon kind of horn or it's basically what you put in your ear. Now it seems really odd at first, but it's so, so good, so easy to use when they're in your ear. You just put them in like that and I've obviously, I'm able to put them in really easily now, but it looks a bit odd, looks like they're gonna fall out, but it works so well because you can't actually feel them in your ear after a couple of minutes. So they can, is a really good material. They've put probably most of the money they put into the design of the Stay Ear trademarked ear clip. So you get them in three different sizes and I got, these are the actually the largest ones and I found that the more I use them over maybe a couple of weeks, you went up to the bigger tips anyway for some reason. Not sure why, maybe your ears got used to the shape of them and they have never, I mean never fallen out of my ears by accident, which is fantastic. And I've done, I've done 200 mile cycle trips with these in all the way and they are so comfortable even after those cycle and um, cycle runs they just there's no problems with them at all i could use them all the time and they were loud enough for me to use on the road the build quality of the rest of the earphone is pretty nice it's still plastic but it feels really solid and strong there's a lot of um, different air vents for the acoustics on the headphones and there's a slight curve in it it's like imagine a hairdryer with the silicon tip on it and it's slightly curved. Now it's just silver and black with the vents and the vents at the back as well behind your ear. They sound really fantastic. I describe the sound as definitely deep in the low end. These headphones, as long as you've got the power to, to drive them, now you definitely need power to drive them, they can go deep with the bass. And I normally use them on a Bang & Olufsen amplifier. So I use them on the headphone port and that delivers the deepest, deepest bass. And I can get these down to under 10 hertz, which is really fantastic. But you wouldn't want to push them too much because you can hear the sound struggling a bit at the lowest of basses. Yeah, so moving on to the mids. These mids sound really nice, probably the best bit of the headphones. Again, it's really hard to describe how these sound, but I've been really pleased with these. I've been Probably they excel most at the um, a bit, bit of violin, kind of, they can really hit the bass hard. Probably when things get really fast and stuff like dubstep, they do start to fall apart a bit. But as long as it's smooth, then these sound insanely good. And the highs, not quite as good, but still they are crisp. And if you look at some of the charts online of these headphones, then you can tell that the actual technical aspects of these headphones sound really good. Now onto the tip of the headphones where you have the jack. It's a really strong construction, probably the best design I've ever seen because if, if someone pulled on these headphones, it would 
bend this part of the rubber jack and actually go straight and pull the jack out. So they're well protected, but very, very strong. They've got rings going around this, so it's really clinging onto the wire. It would take quite a lot of effort to break these headphones. Definitely worth the price. Probably the only bad things are the paint is starting to come off, though I have had these for a while. And, well, yeah, I suppose if someone tried to yank it out your ear, they would, you'd be thinking, um, you'd probably check to see if they're damaged or not, because there is such a good tight fit in your ears. But overall, really, really fantastic headphones, and they are worth the price, um, in my views. I use them for a lot of video editing and music editing. Um, music on the go using cheaper MP3 players, and they seem to seem to deal okay with the smaller amplifiers, but they really do excel. They get their best performance out of the highest quality amplifiers and sound cards. So for me, Jason, see ya.